So since I'm like mostly a Warriors channel now, I guess I should probably cover the Fire Emblem Warriors stuff since we actually got news on it finally, other than the Famitsu article, but that wasn't really gameplay, that was just, hey, Mart's in the game, and we knew that already, plus OCs, but whatever. Um, so yeah, finally we got gameplay from Fire Emblem Warriors, so that really showed us a lot of new things. And I think there's just like a few things I noticed that I kind of just kind of want to talk about and just share because I think a lot of people are viewing this from the Fire Emblem side of it, but not so much the Warriors side of it. That's not really talked about much either, and I think that's kind of like an interesting perspective on it, I guess. Okay. So the main thing is the level ups, which that really kind of surprised me and it's mostly because it's like there's actual stats when you level up and they are the normal fire emblem stats but in a warriors game i really don't know how they work so on the left is just a view of the stats for liana i think is her name yeah i think that's how you say it and then on the right is a character getting a level up so from it you can see there's hp which uh, that's total health that should make sense Attack, which is how much your physical attacks deal damage-wise. Magic, which is how much your magic attack deals damage. Magic attacks deal damage-wise. That's those two are pretty obvious. Defense reduces physical attack damage you take. Resistance reduces magic attack damage you take. And then the kind of freak ones, which are skill, speed, luck, and movement, which those are kind of questionable. So, well first off, the other thing I want to say is, since attack and magic are separate stats, I'm kind of wondering, does that mean that characters can read class, and then Krom, who's definitely not a magic user, but he could read class into something else that takes advantage of magic, possibly? Or maybe it's like something like their special attacks or whatever the focus spirit of this game is uses that stat in some way or some attacks or is it just possibly useless stat for some characters and then for whatever magic characters come up like probably Tiki because I mean she's mostly confirmed if she got an amiibo she's most likely going to be in the game she's a magic user so then that would probably use that instead so it's like is it a useless stat or is it going to actually have or are both stats going to be useful for everyone and of course, defense and resistance, those two are going to be useful for everyone because don't take damage, don't get hit, don't die. Um, so, the other four stats, skill, speed, luck, and movement. So speed could affect attack speed, but considering what we know about hasty attacks and high reward warriors, that could be really stupidly broken, but at the same time it could be you start out really slow at level 1 and then once you get to level 99 or 100 or whatever the caps in, in this game, then you get to like a more normal speed. So I don't know, that doesn't sound really balanced. The other thing is it could just be like running speed, which sounds more normal, but at the same time it's like, what, does that really matter? What I'm thinking of now is also like maybe like something about dodges, like dodge speed or something. That could also throw it, go into skill as well. The original thing I was going to say for skill is maybe it, it affects attack range. So your attacks can reach further out possibly. Or something like that. And then luck, I'm going to just take a guess and say it affects what enemies drop. So if they you have higher luck, they could drop better um, items or more money or something along that, those lines. Movement, I have no clue. Maybe that is running speed, but I'm not sure. Which, that's not shown up on the level up screen, but that's normal in most Fire Emblem games. You don't get movement from level ups, you get it from promoting into other classes, or reclassing, or something along that nature, or using boots, or sometimes using certain skills, or items, stuff like that. But, yeah, why is that there? Because what I mostly saw is when you could command units to move to another area, since it is still set up like a grid pattern, I was thinking, oh, maybe from where they are, they could move five spaces from where they are on the map. 
but at the same time they also showed it and I forgot who was being showed off to move to a different place I think it was Ryoma or something but he was able to move anywhere on the map so that's not really what it is I don't think and he has probably six movement if we're considering um, fates because Corrin started out with five movement and fates and she has five movement in here Xander's probably gonna have a Krom probably will start f with five you know that kind of deal so yeah I really don't know what movements gonna mean so hmm okay so on to well, the characters they did show off okay so wait where I need the names of the characters um Okay, so Rowan, he was only shown off as an enemy, so you couldn't really see his attacks that well. So, yeah, I'm just saying his mouth makes him look like a One Piece character. Um, Liana, she looks actually kind of fun to play, which I won't really mind if, like, her bland personality, because, I mean, the OC twins, they look, both look really bland. I mean, even Alphonse and Sharina look more interesting than them. I mean, Sharina at least has a lance, but okay. Um, but, I mean, she does look decently fun to play, so if that if she's fun to play, then that's okay. Krom actually kind of has some range, like, really good range and pretty decent speed, so he could be a really interesting character. One thing about Krom is that I noticed he kept doing this dashing forward thing that wasn't part of his main string, so I'm going to take a guess and say that's his strong attack. And I'm also going to take yes and say that it's going to use the Hyrule Warriors version of fighting where strong attack is just a strong attack and there's not a specific strong attack string of attacks like the weak string of attacks in Hyrule Warriors. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to kind of use the more basic combat system to p put it that way. And I don't know if... Uh, dodging mechanics of like the One Piece Warrior games are going to come back so that's kind of a sad thing. I didn't really see it, it could still be. Corrin looks really interesting mostly because she doesn't really have that much range except for her special and whatever the focus spirit equivalent of this game is but her 1v1 looks like it could be phenomenal like really scary. <laughs> Just because she can juggle stuff over, her damage is really solid. And she was probably played the most, so I mean, maybe this is just because I saw her the most and Krom was played for like a minute, so I don't really know. But yeah, she could be really good. And if she can build up her special or whatever, and or whatever the focus spirit of this game is, then that basically covers her range problem, so she can get plenty of KOs easy. So she could be a really great character. Um, and also, I mean, character switching in this game is a thing, so if she's just good at 1v1 but she can't really rack up KOs or whatever other requirements are in this game, then she should be fine. So, yeah, I don't think there's any characters that really should be bad if there's character switching. everything, sh Everyone and every character should have some kind of use in there. Also, I think Milkorn will probably be an alternate outfit, but, yeah, I mean, he... The only thing is, like, I don't know if they want to hire a second voice actor just to voice the same character. That's, like, the only other thing, but it's, like... I, I feel like Malecorn will probably just be a different outfit. But if they do that, then it's, like, well, we can't have male cor female corn voicing male corn, so I don't... Whatever. Okay. Ryoma, his one problem is damage. He kind of has low damage, but everything else is crazy about him. I mean, the speed, I feel like he could have been a bit faster I don't know that just he seemed like a tiny bit slow for what he is but he still attacks like super fast but he has stupid range I did not expect him to have that much range and just lightning all over the place so yeah he looks really fun to play he's probably the most fun character to play out of like the ones that were shown off and if it's anything like other Warriors games, there's plenty of damage modifiers you can just slap onto him so that damage problem shouldn't even really be that bad. So he could be really good. But I think Xander is possibly the best character they showed because he has great damage, he has great mobility, because he also moves a lot in his attacks. The other characters are a bit more stationary, but Xander's moving all over the place when he attacks. He has 
phenomenal range as well when he attacks. So I think the only problem is that he's going to be kind of like Link on the horse in Hyrule Warriors, where he's going to be hard to control, but that's about it. And then once you understand how to control him, he's just going to dominate every map. So he could just snowball through the game easily if you actually understand how to play him. And plus, if Fates and Heroes are probably anything to go by, which they are, he's going to have stupid high defense, so he really won't be taking much physical damage either. And I haven't really seen any mage users, but they could be a thing, but who knows. Um, I mean, they will be a thing, but I don't know how prevalent they are going to be over physical users. But he also had decent resistance in uh, Fates, mostly because of Siegfried. Um, I probably said that completely wrong. Um, but yeah, I could, but Fates, or not Fates, uh, Heroes, he has trash resistance, so he that could be trash as well. So yeah, that's about it. And then Marth, he was also only shown as an enemy, so I don't really know what to say about him. So meh. He's, I don't really know what to expect from him. He's probably going to be like a super combo based character, but that's about all I know. Or I don't even know that, I'm just gonna guess. Mostly because like, that's kind of why he's in Smash. He's kind of a faster character, so he could be in here too. Um, and then other character predictions, I mean probably um, Lucina, Roy, Ike, because Smash. Maybe not at launch, but I feel like probably all of them will get in at some point. Because Smash, but also because all the compatible amiibos are compatible in um, Fire Emblem Warriors. So that's probably going to hint at them. Kind of same thing how in uh, Hyrule Warriors, we had like the Toon Link amiibo from Smash, but he wasn't really into the game, so he was just treated as a Link amiibo. But once Toon Link was added, he was able to be scanned as a Toon Link amiibo instead of just another Link amiibo, even though he was Toon Link. So I feel like eventually all the Smash characters will be in there. And then if Robin's not in there at launch either, then you'll get in eventually. Um, so, yeah. And then also, male Corrin, because I mean, male and female Corrin have separate amiibos. That kind of also says it, but eh. Again, that could just be treated as a Corrin amiibo and not male Corrin and female Corrin separately. Okay, so, yeah, okay, that's it. I just wanted to say that. Bye, I guess.